you can assign properties such as color and line type to individual objects or default properties assigned to layers. In this drawing, the walls, exterior stone facing, doors, fixtures, cabinetry, HVAC, electrical, and text were created using different colors to help differentiate between them. The Properties palette is an essential tool. You can open it with the Properties command. Enter PR in the command window. You can press Control-1, or you can click the tiny arrow in the Properties panel on the Home tab, whichever you prefer. The Properties palette displays a list of all the important property settings. You can click any of the available fields to change the current settings. In the following example, if no objects are selected, the current color will be changed from bilayer to red, and the UCS icon will be turned off. You can use the Properties palette to verify and change property settings for selected objects. If you click an object in your drawing to select it, here is what you might see in the Properties palette. A property that is set to by layer inherits its setting from the layer. In this example, the objects that were created on the 20 electrical layer are purple, because that is the default color of the objects on that layer. For quick access to the most common properties, use the Properties panel. As you can see in this example, the listed properties will all be determined by the current layer. The Properties panel works the same way as the Properties palette. When you select an object, the current property settings are replaced by the properties assigned to the selected object. And you can use this panel to easily change the properties of one or more selected objects. For a fast way to copy the properties of a selected object to other objects, use the Match Properties tool, or enter Match Prop, or MA, in the command window. Select the source object, and then select all the objects that you want to modify. Dashed and other non-continuous line types are assigned from the Properties panel. You must first load a line type before you can assign it. In the Line Type drop-down list, click Other. This action displays the Line Type Manager dialog box. Perform the following steps in order. Number 1. Click Load. Choose one or more line types that you want to use. Notice that dashed or non-continuous line types come in several preset sizes. Number 2. Click Show or Hide Details to display additional settings. Number 3. Specify a different global scale factor for all line types. The larger the value, the longer the dashes and spaces. Click OK. Once you've loaded the line types that you plan to use, you can select any object and specify a line type from the Properties panel or the Properties palette. The Line Weight property provides a way to display different thicknesses for selected objects. The thickness of the lines remain constant regardless of the scale of the view. In a layout, line weights are always displayed and printed in real-world units. You can leave the line weight set to by layer, or you can specify a value that overrides the layer's line weight. In some cases, the line weight previews look the same because they are displayed on approximated pixel widths on a monitor. However, they will print at the correct thickness. Tip: It's usually best to leave line weights turned off while you work. Heavy line weights can obscure nearby objects when you use object snaps.